I told myself that this Thursday I would take up coverage on AMP, Clover Health, or possibly Shibu Inu. After all, who wouldn't want to be a pretend billionaire? And shout out to JL that successfully sidetracked me with one very interesting theory. Let's talk about that in the future. Above all else, I told myself, I would not cover Anchor. And then the product team at Anchor did a quarterly roadmap update that clarifies a few things I've covered here on the channel. Specifically, Anchor Mining. Okay, an Anchor video it is. Welcome to Unusual Due Diligence. I am your host, Poseidon, God of the Sea. In today's fresh episode, I'm going to clear the air about the Anchor Mining video. For those who have not had the benefit of watching my video on Anchor Mining, the link to that is below. Let me recap quickly to refresh all of our minds on what that video was about. Similar to Batman appearing out of nowhere, a Twitter post emerged in the wild with photographs of a location as well as a pretty nice marketing presence for a hardware-based mining operation that offered a geographic footprint. I'm summarizing a pretty long video, but let's look on the screen here. This Twitter handle, which has since been taken offline, claimed to have an anchor mining operation. Now, I went as far as to dig up the actual legal filings with the state of California and the location, as well as the last name, did match the, let's call him the main dude behind Anchor. However, there were two pieces of information in that video, and I'm not sure if you caught them, so let me show them here. First, the very first name of the individual did not match Ryan Fang. It's a Fang, but not the Fang we're looking for. And then, look here, at the agent. This individual, this person, doesn't seem to exist on the interwebs. I went looking at the time. I found it suspicious that someone signing this document didn't have a LinkedIn profile or anything of note, but was easily submitting documents to the state of California's registered corporation office. Curious. As you can see on the screen here, it wasn't just one filing. There are several. Very curious, right? Even more curious is that Goldman Sachs is losing a cryptocurrency and financial genius to Anchor, as shown here on the screen. Hmm. There's a lot going on here, but I want to go back to the Anchor mining operation. I even modeled a sophisticated 3D visualization, as shown in the background here, of their possible setup. So why am I covering all of this? Because in this post from head of product at Anchor, he says the following, quote, Anchor is not involved in mining. Why the rumors? We advise some miners on relocating, given our partnerships and expertise with the data center industry. It's very important we stay close with the miners for some future products we're working on, end quote. Future products, you say? So in all fairness, when there's an anchor mining company form with the last name of the company founder and multiple legal filings showing up, posting a marketing plan and photos of what appears to be a real life operation on Twitter, I feel it's safe to say that there's something important happening here. I do not doubt the anchor product guy is being truthful. I do believe Anchor isn't directly involved in mining, but I also believe there's more to that story. Why do I say that? Because legal filings and shipping import logs through customs are something that's a tough thing to sweep under a rug. Now, what could be at play here is that Anchor isn't directly related to the mining company shown on the screen, but instead Anchor might have a soft dotted line in terms of relationship or is pleading with all of us in the community to kindly shut our collective traps. No doubt, as the Anchor head of product notes, there is definitely a lot of advisement that can happen from the Anchor team to anyone operating a blockchain service. Actually, what you're looking at here is the next version of a services consulting company in a way. You might even say Goldman Sachs 2.0. Let me offer a prediction. At some point, the Anchor company opens a blockchain consulting company for the Fortune 500. What imp impact that would have on Anchor? I, I don't know, but I'd be willing to bet one Shiba Inu that Anchor is considered that angle. I could get into the revenue model, but this isn't a publicly traded company. We're here to discuss the crypto aspect. So what I'll say is the Anchor mining video isn't wrong, but it also requires one slight adjustment. There's an important detail that's missing, but really what I care about here is the same thing you do. What's this mean for the Anchor price? Well, I'm going to say this. The roadmap post from the Anchor team is quite interesting, and I'll cover that in a moment just to really get those brain synapses firing. But let me call attention to a little footnote by the head of Anchor product. Here's what he has to say on token, quote, personally, I would expect the token to keep following the market until the market decides to revalue Anchor against other projects. I see a lot of charts and comments from the community that are just misinformed and don't understand a market cap or how crypto is valued and moves. Frankly, the whales ask the least questions, end quote. Deconstruction time. Okay, so personally, quote unquote, means a little CYA. In a publicly traded company setting, this is the same as saying, well, I can't guarantee you're going to make billions of dollars in four hours, but dot, 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 quote, token follows the market, end quote. What does that mean? What is the crypto market? Ah, great question. The crypto market is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. Now, why would Anchor follow the market? Here's my theory. Anchor provides the on-ramp 
to the market. I'm not saying anchor is the market, but it's like the toll road on the interstate. Quote, the whales ask the least questions. This is the most interesting. Why is that so interesting to me? For the same reason you Anchor fans are here today. You just get it. Anchor is an obvious thing to have in your portfolio. It trades with the market and the value proposition is just obvious. But one last parting note, quote, until the market decides to revalue Anchor, end quote. Now the price could go up, it could go down. No one knows for sure. However, the product headed Anchor ends his paragraph with, the whales ask the least questions. So if you're asking me if I'm buying more Anchor on my next paycheck, then the answer is yes. Now, if you follow this channel, you no doubt have noticed I don't post videos involving day-to-day -day price action, swing trades, or like. The purpose of this channel is to provide the kind of unusual due diligence that gets in at the underlying deep value of the asset. I might do videos that speculate on price targets, and I do those typically after I've done a few of the, uh, let's call them meat and potato videos, to really understand what's happening inside the asset. As we approach 100 subscribers here at Unusual Due Diligence, I just want to say thank you. I'm hoping each video is slightly better than the last, and I'm surfacing the kind of information that you're just not likely to get anywhere else. For real, if someone else has the Optimus Prime surfing a wave, I want to see it. And that said, one last thing to make your fourth quarter plan. I mentioned that I was going to cover a bit more about Anchor before wrapping up today. Let me read this section to you and end on an important note. This is from the head of Anchor Product. Quote, Our CTO, myself, and some of our engineers locked ourselves up in a hotel for two weeks straight and planned out, while doing some coding sessions, what will become Anchor Protocol. I've never been more excited about Anchor. Q4. There's going to be a major marketing announcement coming out. There's going to be an Anchor Protocol launch with a focus on compute for blockchain, token utility, DAO governance. Let me say that again. Token utility. It's impossible to use Anchor Protocol without the Anchor token. Lowering voting barriers for the DAO. Strategy memo, light paper to replace the legacy white paper. And last, a focus on decentralization in general. End quote. Anchor realizes that their future is the Anchor token. There's a lot of strange crypto opportunities in the wild today. Wouldn't you like to be part of one that has a company vested in the success of the coin of its namesake? Solving these grand challenges that are attracting talent from the places like Goldman Sachs? I would. Make waves, my friend.